I thought I'd do a quick video on how I flow a textured tile around the surface of a ring. Um, a bit new to videoing and stuff, so bear with me. Um, so basically, the tile that I've used is um, from Google Images, and that's it. Now it should work okay for all intents and purposes today but um, it will work better if it's a, a grayscale tile but that's just one I found I thought it looks like a, a funky car tread or a bike tread so I'm going to try and make a bike tread tiring <laughs> like you do um, so we'll start off by doing a centre circle so a 4 um, say 22 Oops, that's not a good start, is it? Four, twenty-two, and then a shift, and that puts in a man size ring. Um, the computer's a bit odd because the recording the stuff that I'm using, I don't think that's clever. But it was a, uh, it was free, so we'll forgive it. And uh, I've cheated a little bit because I've already drawn the curves for the. Um, cross section uh, which had uh, um, basically it's simple enough to do um, this this um, area is about 0.5 um, now I've done that so the height of the field should be 0.5 and it should fit in and look a bit like a texture um, but the edges are the height field are open so also you'll be able to scale it and push it into this so yeah it will all be sealed now I don't know about a printing machine um, but I know on my mill it just mills where it sees so that's not a problem so that's how I've been doing it uh, now I need to move this over um, so it's on the end of the finger size uh, so if I pick mid on the Snaps, so oh snaps, so oh transform and move. We want to go from the midpoint. Oh, it's got the end, but really it should be the quad. To the quad there. So that's nice and tight on that curve there now. Um, so now we want to flow that around there. Uh, so we want sweep one rail. Click on the rail. Uh, click on the cross section, enter, uh, yeah. oops, we'll look at that, and basically that's <laughs> my homage to a bike tyre, <laughs> nice low profile there, uh, sporty one. Also, it's got a little bit of a comfort court fit inside. Not that it matters. <laughs> um, <coughs> okay, so what we need to do now is this surface here. We need to flow the pattern around. Now, it should work just to create um, a V curve from this, on this particular model, but when things get a bit more complicated, you'll have to. Uh, make a parallel surface, a clean surface, a virgin surface if you will otherwise you can have problems with um, things not working out as, as you think they should um, so if I uh, create <coughs> UV curve we want to create them on that surface uh, we're getting there yet get that one there and that one there press enter uh, now at this point I'm going to put this on a different layer uh, just to make it a bit easier um, for what we're doing now on the create UV you can see this shape here now uh, that's come from that command uh, And those, um, I'm going to change my object layers. There we go. They, they, um, those curves 
directly correspond to the shape of that curve or that surface should I say there um, so what we need to do now is, is copy over the curves as well so we'll get sure then um, what we need to do now is that surface make that that curve make into a surface? There's a couple of ways to do it. Um, you can use a planar curve. Sometimes that can get a bit odd. So what I'll do is I explode that uh, surface two rail sweep. Oops, hang on, cancel it. Okay. Um, surface two rail sweep, sweep two rails. That's your one rail, one rail. Your cross sections and so. Okay, so you've got a nice fresh surface there. Um, <coughs> so now what we need to do is bring our tile in, our bitmap picture as a height map. Um, but before we do that, now there is probably a really cool way of doing this, but I don't know. <laughs> so this is how I've been doing it. So we click there and click that, and then. Click there, click there. Right, just a couple of little guiders for me there. Um, I'm going to change that again just to make it easier. Um, oops. Nope. That's what we want to do. Green layer, the current layer. Now, what height field? Uh, I'm before you eat. So we pick our bitmap there, click one click, and then this, yeah, I'm going to make it a bit better, uh, 8.22, so point 8.22, and uh, that will ensure that that height field will fit that depth there. Like I said, there's probably an easier way to do it, but I don't know. Now, we've set the height to 0.5 of a millimetre. If you go too high on it, it just looks rubbish, so you got to keep it. Well, obviously, you experiment, see what you think, but um, that's what I tend to do around there. Uh, and also, the number of sample points, you want to keep that as low as you can. Um, the more you have, you get a better resolution, but it creates massive meshes, and it just slows everything down, makes it very difficult to work with. So no just play around with it basically get a feel for it um, so okay so we've got our surface there um, now what we want to do is put that there so orient with two points that one and that one that one and that one um, now again uh, there's got to be a better way of doing this but um, what we'll do is we'll click on that and then the number uh, here um, I'll divide that by 10 uh, so that's 8.523 just click that off there so that basically is the spacing that we need um, I know there is a command to do I just can't remember where it is <laughs> Um, so what we need to do now is scale that uh, one day from there to there and bring that to there and then what we can do then is array that a rectangular array now I scaled that one way now it won't matter with this because I'm only having one line but I would imagine you have to be careful if you try to get stuff to match up if you're having you know more tiles to produce the texture that you want to use so uh, just something to be aware of I think um, so we want 10 we want 1 we want 1 um, spacing I'd say quad off there is from the to there Accept. So there we've got all the texture tiled together and uh, ready to be flowed onto this. Um, so if we go into that one, ah, right there. Now you can see it's gone a bit um, 
funny. <laughs> and the reason for that is the texture is only halfway. Um, halfway on the plane that we made. So that represents the top of the plane. So um, if we move this up, um, we shift on, though it doesn't move. Um, so just about there. Um, see if you move it up, it'll be bigger, so you'll get a gap where it wraps. Whereas if you keep it just below, it's okay. Um, so, ah, can you see what I've done there? Can you see what I did? <laughs> So let's go into that, click on that, select all objects, now we're cooking. Um, shift again, pick on that. Just below, there we go. That's better. Oh no it's not. <laughs> I'm going to give it up. <laughs> I've had enough. Right, back to where we were. Right, let's do it properly this time. So, select all objects on that green. Let's go into here. Pick that. Move that like that. There we go. Now we're cooking. Still got a little bit in the lows, but like I say, that's it, it'll be okay. You can play about with it to your heart's content, I suppose. Uh, so. so now what we want to do is flow this surface around there. So, transform, flow along the surface, select objects to flow, so we want to flow them, press enter, we want that there, and we want underneath that there, it might take a little bit to do this, uh, but the more detail you have in obviously in your mesh, the more computing it has to do so it takes longer. So I don't know if that'll show out. I know the quality's not very good at this recording software, but if you can see like a pink line there, uh, I'm wondering what it was, that's something I put on the template for stops me crashing a bit into the mill basically it tells where the boundaries are, so when I'm making stuff it's just a quick reference. Thinking about it, there we go. Right, so get a shot of that lot. Oops. Uh, I'll hide that. Analyze surface environment map, and we want that a lot. Give it a minute. There we go. Um, that's an ugly ring, that. <laughs> but anyway, the main part about it is that it's the tiles are all seamless <laughs> um, it looks like a bite tie that does it uh, a little bit <laughs> nah it doesn't <laughs> oh well we tried we failed <laughs> there you go anyway i hope that's of use to somebody
Um, like I say, I'm sure there's loads of better ways of doing it, but that's why I did it today. Thanks a lot for watching. Okay, goodbye.